All right, so we're going to talk about how to customize your Zen 40 forum to look awesome and sexy and branded with your brand, right? So you're going to need three things to do that. You're going to need your Zen 40 login. You're going to need an FTP client. I recommend FileZilla. So that's FTP is just how to access file transfer protocol, how to access the files on your hosting server. Um, and upload and download files. So you need that. You need something very simple, either a finished logo file that you want to, um, that you had created, hopefully a PNG transparent logo, or you can throw one together quickly using something like Photoshop Elements. So you need access to your forum. You need some simple, either a finished logo file or something like Photoshop or Keynote or some way to create even a real basic text logo. And then you need an FTP to get the files. I'm going to show you how to customize it. So if you go into your forum, you know, the normal Zen 40 forums look very plain and branded. And if you want to customize, um, it's actually pretty simple, a couple clicks of a mouse. So you can see in our community, I have the custom logo, a back background. Um, you know, a lot of people, just as an aside, a lot of people think branding doesn't matter. In direct, the direct response marketing world, I think it means everything. I want people to have confidence and consistency when it comes to my brand. So if you look at the main website or any other thing that we put out there, um, I really want it to be branded, right? So people have the same experience if they're on a YouTube channel, inside a membership, going through a course, um, or on a webinar. I want consistent branding, right? So how do we do this? Here's what, the, here's what it looks like now. I'm going to go into the login and show you. The first thing you have to do is remember your passwords. Uh, hopefully that's right. So you have the in the admin control panel, you have a bunch of different settings here. And I'm going to show you where the logo setting is. Okay, so the way this works is all the header and logo. So if I go back and look at the forum, this is just simply a file, it's just a certain location on your server, and you need to find out where that is and just upload a replacement. So if I go back to the Zen 40 admin, I click on styles, number one, then I this is the default style that it comes with. I'm going to click on properties, right? Then I'm going to click on header navigation. So again, I went, let me go back. So I went styles, the default style, clicked on properties. And then just look for header navigation, which should be here. Now I'm basically saying, okay, where is the logo located? Well, on the website, I'll show you in the FTP how to get here and replace it. But styles slash default slash Zen 40 slash logo dot PNG. So if I upload a new file called logo dot PNG, that's just going to become the new logo. I can also say the height of logo. So if your logo is a little bit larger than the tiny Zen 40 one, all you have to do is make this... Um, I mean, if I made this 425 right now, it would make this huge, this section right here. So you're just saying, what height do you want? Um, that's simple, right? So we need to upload a new logo. We need to pick the height so it matches. And then we need to customize. You can see all my um, branding and the rest of the site matches. Um, so let's go there. Let's start with that. So how can I get to this file called Styles Default Zen 40 Logo? Well, I'm going to go... I'm going to go to something like FileZilla, which I use as an FTP client. I'm going to kind of log in here, connect to your web server. Now, on my main website, I just know you go to public HTML. It should be the same for most cPanel-based servers. Just go to public HTML. It just means that's where all the files are that the public would access. And you have a whole bunch of stuff you probably don't want to mess with. My main site is a WordPress site. And then if you go to FletcherMethod.com forward slash members, I know that that is where the um, forum exists. So I'm going to go down here and find members. So whatever the address of your forum is, if it's, if it's – so again, if I go look at the domain, FletcherMethod.com forward slash members, I just have to go there in my FTP client and find that. So FletcherMethod.com forward slash members right here. And then – if I get confused about how to find my logo, all I have to do is, is consult back with this path, styles slash default slash Zen 40 logo. That's what it is. And I'm going to go back here and then and find that, that location, right? So I'm going to go to styles, default, Zen 40 logo. 
So all I have to do is upload a new logo file and replace it. Now, if you want to, if you don't want to mess with the height of your logo and you want an exact um, size that came with Zenforo, you can just actually download this to your desktop and then, you know, bring it, bring it into Photoshop or just any photo editor, look at the size and make another logo that matches that size. But I had a custom one. Okay, so all I did is I went into Photoshop or any kind of photo editing software, even if you just want to use text. I don't want to give you a logo tutorial, but I just like put a box here. This is a font. Here's my logo my designer did. I just made a little community logo, right? Um, I go five. So once you have a logo, um, pay attention to the height. That's helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go file, save as. That's actually, I already messed that up. That's not what I want to do. I actually want to go file, save for web. And again, no matter what photo editor you're using, if it's not Photoshop, um, doesn't matter. Now, what I'm going to do is make sure this is 125 height. That's the height I want it to be. Um, you can go larger, smaller, but the bottom line is I'm going to go OK. I'm going to save that as logo.png. Um, so the reason for that is I need to have the exact name or else if I upload it, it's not going to use that location. So I'm going to save it as logo.png, save it. Now when I go back to my FileZilla, my FTP, I just go look for my, let's see, I'm in, I'm in a folder called membership site. You can have it on your desktop. So on the left, I just have where I want to find the file from on my computer. I'm going to right click and hit refresh just to make sure I'm dealing with the current version. You can also see the date here. And then if I just click on upload, it's just going to upload it and replace this one. And literally that's it. Your logo is updated on your forum. As long as you navigate to the right location, make sure it's refreshed and then hit upload. It'll ask you, do you want to save changes here? You'll say yes. And you're good to go. Um, sometimes you'll, you'll do it. You'll upload a logo and it won't show. That just means your cookies are getting, are affected. So just refresh a few times, go ahead and refresh your forum and um, or start a new browser or erase cookies or whatever. But it doesn't matter. You'll see it here. Now, a couple other things going on. Well, I have this cool kind of brick wall background that I have in all my stuff, all my webinars, websites. It's just a, a brick file. You might have a certain background you want to use. It's really nice because what it does is it flows through the whole background of the forum. So if you want to do something like that, it's really outside the scope of this, but I'll show you really quick because I'm a nerd. Um, if I go, so here I was style properties header. So once again, I'm just saying, what's the height that I want to have the header? Um, what is the location and name of the, lo of the logo? And then I'm good to go. So let me hit my back button though and show you something else. If I go to my main body section, I'll show you that here. So if I just go back to style properties, so again, let me just really make sure you get this. So from the main from the main login, the, the admin login, go to styles, default style, style properties. Now I'm going to go instead of to header navigation, I'm just going to click on general. A couple of really cool things that are important that you can customize. Um, I'm going to go to the body section. And here's where I just said, you know what? Instead, of, I can make a, a colored background for the whole site. I can, but I just use this. Um, I uploaded a, an image called brickwall.png. So if you look back in your FTP client, I should see in here someone brick wall. So I just uploaded a file, just like any other file. I, I found the background image, and I uploaded it, and then just and then just indicate the address of that image. So you'll see styles, default, Zenforo, brick wall. Same folder as your logo. And I just said, let's repeat that. So that way you get this nice kind of subtle background. Now you can just use a color. One thing I really recommend is that you use some kind of style guide. What I mean by that is um, what makes brands look really sloppy is if you have slightly different grays and blues and fonts and colors all over your site. So I just have a style guide that says anytime I use yellow, it's this exact yellow, gray, I have light gray, and this is the font I use whenever possible, right? So that's it. So now I know exactly what colors to use. So if I want to make the background just the gray I use everywhere, Instead of selecting an image, all I have to do is say, okay, let's just make it a color. So I'll erase this image, just make the background a color. The last thing you want to customize for that ninja final touch here is when I go to the color palette. So let me go back to the beginning just to be clear. Styles, 
I'm going to go to style properties. I'm going to go to color palette. Um, you know, the default Zen 4O has a whole bunch of weird, you know, yellows and, and um, oranges and blue. That's just what it comes with. You can, you can tweak all this stuff. So you can tweak. So that's why that this is all I had to do is those three things to make my form highly customizable. I, let me go here. I uploaded my own logo and, and adjusted the height of the header. I did this brick wall for the content background and then the color palette. You'll see everything is consistent no matter where you are. Um, everything is nice and consistent using the same color palette. So to do that, you just mess with these settings. What I would do is make adjust one and then, cause I can't, it's not always intuitive, like where, what part of the website this would change. So not a big deal. Um, just change one at a time, go back, refresh your forum. This should, you know, play with that for 15 minutes. You'll be all good to go. Um, other style properties. Now here's, here's a little uh, key. That's cool. If you're messing with stuff and you kind of get lost and go down the wormhole, which I don't recommend, you can click on this style menu and just look at customized components and see everything you customized. And that way you can switch it back if you make it look atrocious like I did before. So I can see that these are the things that I've customized, right? So these are the things that I've customized. And I can, if I undo them, it'll go back to default. So very cool. Upload your own logo with that location. Um, adjust the colors to match using your own style guide so everything is perfect. And you'll be off to the races. Hope that helps. Customize your form and kick some butt. Bye.